The legal troubles are deepening for New York's embattled Governor Andrew Cuomo. One of his accusers has filed a criminal complaint alleging Cuomo groped her. He denies touching anyone inappropriately. On Friday, the governor's legal team tried to punch holes in the state attorney general's report that alleges Cuomo sexually harassed 11 former and current female staffers. Michael George is here with the latest on this. Michael, good morning. Jeff, good morning. In just a few hours, we'll hear from the Albany County Sheriff about a complaint they received against Governor Cuomo. It's the first sign he may face a criminal investigation. Meanwhile, the governor, through his lawyers, is pushing back against his accusers. Governor Cuomo, already in a political firestorm, could now face a criminal one. One of 11 women accusing Cuomo of sexual harassment, identified as Executive Assistant 1, filed a criminal complaint with the Albany County Sheriff's Office, telling CBS News and the Albany Times Union, what he did to me was a crime. He broke the law. Earlier this week, an independent investigation concluded Cuomo routinely harassed women around him. The assistant claims in 2019 and 2020, the governor engaged in close and intimate hugs on multiple occasions, including one incident when he reached under her blouse and grabbed her breast. The governor denies the allegations. Let me be clear, that never happened. On Friday, Cuomo's attorney Rita Glavin attacked the investigation calling it unfair. Instead of acting as independent fact finders, the investigators acted as prosecutors, judge, and jury. CBS News legal expert and analyst Ricky Kleeman says the governor will likely face a criminal prosecution. Is it possible he could do jail time? Yes, it is. Is it likely? I would say probably not. Governor Cuomo would qualify as a first offender. He has no other criminal record. An impeachment probe has already begun in the state assembly, and members say they have the votes to impeach. A source tells CBS News Cuomo has no intention of resigning. And that impeachment trial could begin in a month. We've also learned at least one accuser plans to file a civil lawsuit against the governor. It was really interesting to watch that news conference yesterday with his attorneys. Michael, thank you very much.